Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is Valentine's Day, February 14th, 2018. And today I thought we would discuss a little bit about resumes. What I personally, cannot talk today, personally looked for when I was looking through resumes to bring people in for interviews, etc., etc. Um, with that being said, there are places you can go online to get free templates to build your resume. As you can already see, my resume does not look like the standard resume. It is a little bit different, and I like that. It has a little bit of personality like I do, and I wanted to show that with my resume. This can be both a good thing and a bad thing. Some employers will like it, some employers will not, but it will definitely grab their attention. That is what I wanted to do with my resume. Grab their attention. That is something we all should strive for. This is something that we all need to do in order to get that call to come in for the interview. Now, eventually, once we get the interview, after we've put the time and effort and energy into making this res resume, um, once we get the interview, that's a whole other process which we will go into on another day. But ultimately, we have to make our first impression, which is this resume, as best as we can make it, because this is the first thing they see of us. Nowadays, everything, 99% of everything is electronic. So they want us to email them a resume. So this is what they're going to see first and foremost before they ever see us. So we want to make sure we have things that stand out so that they will call us or email us for an interview. We want to make sure we got that foot in the door. With that being said, let's go over a little bit of the things that we look for on a resume. So the first thing I looked for when I was looking at the resume was um, the name of the person applying and their contact information, which is underneath this um, <laughs> uh, receipt. I wanted to keep a little bit of my um, contact information mine um, and the employers only not out for the internet to see <laughs> and enjoy so yeah with that being said so the very top of your resume you should have a name and a contact information for the people to get a hold of you for the employers to get a hold of you next thing you're going to want is your objective what are you looking for in a new job make sure each of these templates have a section and they kind of tell you what they're looking for in each section. So in this one, it was the objective. So that's easy. What are you looking for in a new job? Are you looking for advancement opportunities? Are you looking for um, just a change in the environment? Are you looking to change completely in the field? What are you looking for? Put that here. Next thing you're going to look for is your skill set. So everything you've done in your previous jobs, you're going to write out a summary of each one of these items. Um, these are just examples. These are these. This is my resume, <laughs> and um, I wouldn't normally put this on, but I don't currently own a Microsoft Office at the house, so I couldn't log in and kind of show you these things, unfortunately. Or could I? Let me look at that. Okay, so if you go to Microsoft Office um, website and go to their templates, you can see there are a ton to choose from. Um, each one of them, this is the one that I chose down here. So each one of them is actually set up, if I can get it to pull up here. Um, to give you the information that you're going to need. Now, there were extra things on this one that I did not need, like the volunteer experience and leadership, etc., etc. So it gives you everything you need um, in order to fill it out. Now, if this one's not your cup of tea, that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. There are a ton on here. They have some where you can put your picture, um, like this one um, to show them who you are or this one there are some where it's just a regular run-of-the-mill um, resume and then they have some that are pop out hello here I am it just 
it really depends on what you are looking for and what you are trying to portray um, to the employers. Keep in mind when you are um, putting in this information, you need to make sure the main criteria is kept. You need to make sure your job title, the company, and your dates from and to are put on your top first to second line. In my case, it ended up being two lines. And that was in bold so that it really stood out. The next part, you are going to put, uh, if I can get it to zoom in, and I can't because I need an extra hand. <laughs> anyway, um, you need to make sure, get that off there, you need to make sure that you are going into a little bit of detail about what you did for that job. Um, your education, if you have your college degrees and your high school, etc., etc., make sure you put it on there. Ideally, you only want to have one page for your resume. You can have a cover letter, your resume, and then put your references on a separate page, and you only give those if they ask for them, is what I'm told. So, I hope this helps a little bit. Um... If it does, great. I hope you get the job that you were aiming for. Um, so yeah, happy job hunting. And if you like my videos, please subscribe and hit like. And don't forget to comment in the or the comments box. If you have any questions that I did not cover on this video, which I'm sure there are a thousand, <laughs> um, I am going to be making more videos on this subject. So we'll get into a little bit more detail as we go. But um, just make sure, if, if nothing else, if you learn nothing else from this video specifically, make sure your resume stands out so that you get a look over on your resume um, so that the employers are looking at your resume and not somebody else's. That is the biggest piece of advice I can give you. Make sure your information is standing out as opposed to Joe Smith or Sue Smith or whoever it is. Um, make sure your resume is the one that the employers are going to look at. Okay, guys. Bye, and I will see you tomorrow.